Hi everyone, good morning, or should I say Salamat Pagi in Balinese. My name is Desiree Marchetti and I am the owner of social media agency Bond and & Brand and I am so excited to be getting to tune in with you guys today all the way in beautiful Bali. Bali holds a special place in my heart having lived there for a few years and I am so excited to be tuning in with you guys. I know just how incredible and special it is to be in Bali, Indonesia and exploring everything that Nusa Dua and all of Bali has to offer. It is such a beautiful island with beautiful people, incredible culture, and I'm so excited you guys are getting to experience it. You may have seen me across other Forever trainings as I was live in Mexico for the Forever Eagles Manager Retreat back in October, and I've also been lucky enough to connect one-on-one -on -one with some of the top leaders in the Forever Biz. Jane Leach, I am looking at you. If you are in the room right now, I have been so honored to connect with you one-on-one -on -one and see all of the incredible things you've been able to do to take your social to the next level by tapping into some of these key strategies. So today, without further ado, let's dive in to our Bali Forever Global Rally social training. We are talking today about how to take social to sales. What are some of those key tactics that you guys can use to start driving sales across your social media channels? So let's dive right in. So a little agenda for today, I want to talk through getting to know your platforms, how you can make your content both shoppable and searchable, how to take that engagement that you start getting through your content and convert it into sales, and then how can you leverage your forever community to take each other along for the ride, support each other, and grow on social together. So let's start with how to know your platforms. Instagram. I know there are so many platforms out there today that we've all been privy to, and it may seem like there's a lot out there and it might be a little overwhelming, but overwhelming. But let me tell you, you just want to know the platforms that you're on or planning to get started on. So we're going to go through a little bit about each platform today. So as we dive in to some of the top social selling trends in social media today, you have a great grasp on what these platforms look like and how they differ from each other. Knowing these platforms means knowing what content works, what content doesn't, what is going to stop the scroll on these platforms and how to use the platform specific features to your advantage. So let's dive right in to knowing your audience to grow your audience. So as you can see, each of these platforms have a different top age range or demographic that you're working with. They have different content types that they're driving home and there's a different use for each platform. With Instagram, our top age range is 18 to 34. Now that's a wide age range that you're gonna see very similarly across Facebook and YouTube. Now you're gonna see some of a younger crowd on YouTube and even a younger crowd on TikTok with that top age range being 10 to 24. We use our content to our advantage knowing who our audience is and what that demographic looks like. As you can see across Facebook and Pinterest, these are the two platforms that have an older demographic as opposed to the younger demographics we're seeing on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube already on the platforms. So when we get into content types, we know that Instagram, TikTok, well, pretty much all of them these days are using short form video. So well, it was once reserved for those platforms like YouTube. We're now seeing real videos on Instagram. Short form video is king and queen on TikTok. Facebook now has Facebook Lives and Facebook Reels. Really, we're seeing all of these videos get plastered across every platform. So we know video content is here to stay. A couple of these other content types we're seeing across platforms is stories across Facebook, TikTok and Instagram, whereas we're using Pinterest and YouTube more as those larger image or video search engines. So as opposed to scrolling on these platforms, we're really using them to type in a problem and get a solution. So knowing a little bit more about these content types that we're using across each platform is going to help us gauge where we want to be. 
Now let's talk a little bit about platform use. How are people using these platforms in their daily lives? Well, as we can see on Instagram, we have a very large percentage of daily users shopping on the app. Over half of their users are shopping on the app. As opposed to jumping over to Facebook, we only see half of that or 26% of daily users shopping on the app. So if your goal is to make sales, you may want to lean toward Instagram versus Facebook. Now, another interesting use of TikTok that we're seeing is 105% of a user growth rate over the past two years. That is growth that we have yet to see across any of these platforms who have stood longer than TikTok had. So if your purpose and your goal is to grow as quickly as possible, TikTok is the place to do it when we talk about growing our audience. On Pinterest, we have an 80% of users looking to make a purchase. That means that almost everyone jumping on Pinterest is looking to make a purchase when they find that solution that they're looking for as they type in their problem in the search bar. So whatever it is, know that people are making sales on Pinterest. And of course, we have YouTube being the second largest search engine after Google. We're going to get into a little bit more of this as we move forward into more of these content trends, but just know that Gone are the days where we just Google everything and we're really starting to use these platforms as a search engine. Now let's talk about creating content that attracts. Now I took two of my favorite forever products and I believe new forever products that just launched at Forever Global Rally. I am so excited about the Forever Immune Gummies and the Protecting Day Lotion. So I used these two examples as I created some content and thought about my content that attracts. So what I've done is taken each platform and really shown an example of how you can use the same product across different platforms and in different ways. The first is Instagram. Using your morning routine on Instagram is a great trendy way to produce content that attracts. People wanna know what others' morning routines are. For me, I know that starts with my warm lemon water, reading a few chapters of my book, taking a couple notes and writing down my goals for the day, and of course, taking two of my immune gummies. So that's a great way that you can focus on Instagram, pick up on a trend and integrate your products along the way. TikTok, for example, I wanna tell all my TikTok followers what I can never travel without. And for me, those are both of those new products, right? I have my book, a good hair clip, a good pair of sunglasses, my wallet, my passport, and of course my protecting day lotion and my immune gummies. Got to keep my immunity up when I'm on the go and got to make sure my skin is protected from all of the elements that come with travel. Next is Facebook. How can I use that older demographic that I'm seeing on Facebook to provide some product education? Well, I can do this in a few different ways. I can use both a video or still imagery to talk about what are the things I never go without in a day. And for me, that's my water with lemon, I say it again, but I'm positioning it in a different way. So on Facebook, I'm talking about what, why those immune gummies are so necessary for me and why I don't go a day without them. Next is Pinterest. Pinterest is a great example of not only places where you could take some of these imagery you're seeing on the screen, add a text overlay, maybe it's best mineral sunscreen, or maybe it's keep your immunity boosted with this product. Whatever it is, you can include a text overlay element to your pins, and we're going to talk about how we can use them to cross promote in just a little bit. Lastly, on YouTube, I'm thinking about longer form content. So when I'm thinking about content that's going to live a long time, be more evergreen, be less likely to pick up on a trend, but more likely to really give a detailed description of the product that I'm talking about, or maybe I'm comparing it to two different products. In this example, I talk about the protecting day lotion and what the difference is between a mineral sunscreen versus a chemical sunscreen. That's huge and we all know there's a big difference. So you can use a long form video like you would on YouTube to be able to truly define and teach your audience what the difference between the two is and why they should of course go with Forever Mineral Sunscreen in the Protecting Day Lotion. 
So now we have a better idea of what our platforms look like and what are different content types that we can use to attract on these different types of platforms using similar products. Now, how can we reach new audiences with new trends? The first is that community comes first. You truly need to know your audience to grow your audience. So keep up with community, make sure you are getting to know your followers and bringing them in and letting them know what to expect when it comes to joining your community on your social channels. Next is brand transparency. Gone are the days where people want to see a vague product mention or a vague business idea, maybe a way to share an opportunity, but not really telling them the who, what, when, where, or how, right? People want that authenticity and vulnerability. That is truly going to allow you to grow. When you are vulnerable on your own channels and willing to share free value and information with your followers, you're more likely to receive more vulnerability in return. So make sure you're being authentic about the company you work for. Hello, we are all so excited and proud to be Forever FBOs. You want to share it from the rooftops, share and be proud of the exact products that you use and how you use them compliantly, of course, and make sure you're being authentic with your audience along the way. Sometimes that means sharing not only your wins, but maybe some of your losses too. Getting vulnerable means being met with vulnerability and being able to provide a and grow a deeper, genuine connection with your audience. We're gonna talk more about these in just a minute with social shopping features. You wanna make sure you're tapping into all those features that make it easier to cash in on a sale on social. Next, what is that video content or that content that is really king and queen right now? Video content is what it is today, so that's what we're talking about when we're talking about new trends. And of course, next generation platforms. Now, I have the TikTok logo here, but let me tell you, you may have heard TikTok just came out with a sister platform called Lemon8. That's the word lemon and then the number eight, Lemon8. And that is a next gen platform that we're going to watch. Why? Well, it may have a similar growth rate that TikTok did over the past few years. And it's a really great way to build an audience quickly on a platform. So now that we know what these new trends are looking like, let's talk about that 2023 trends that can make your content shoppable and searchable. I wanna talk about the different content types that you can lean into so you have all of the functions that you could use at your fingertips. The first is Reels. Now, real videos or example, TikTok videos, any short form video is going to allow you to provide not only give in your community insight into your personality, but you can also provide your favorite products, the favorite uses of your products, use trends and humor to really pick up and that engagement and boost your reach, share DIYs or tutorials like I did in the morning routine example. Whatever it is, short form video truly allows you to connect with your audience and show your personality along the way with engaging, compelling video. Next is carousel posts. So carousel posts are multiple images being posted as one post. So you can use this to show a how-to, maybe a step-by-step. -step. Again, you could transform your morning routine or maybe make your evening routine into a carousel. This is also a really great way to provide ongoing storytelling through a series of different pieces of content or show a step-by-step -step guide. Another content type is a single post. You want to make sure if you're posting just one photo that you have a compelling copy driven image. You want to make sure that you have an infographic or an on brand meme, whatever this looks like for you. You want to make sure when it's just one photo that it's as compelling as it can be and that you really utilize your caption to your advantage. Next is your IG stories. Your Instagram stories, which are also available on TikTok, are a great way to promote your skills, to show personal or behind the scenes pieces, to be interactive with your audience, ask them questions. We'll go a little bit deeper into a few of those features in just a minute, but know that your stories are a place where you can talk face to camera to your audience, share information with them, and have a place where it either disappears after 24 hours or can live on as a story highlight, whichever you prefer. 
Next is lives. So lives are a really great way to do Q and A, to provide live product education, talk about products, trainings, etc. But remember, when you're live, you cannot edit and you cannot backtrack. So make sure to have talking points or a script to ensure that you're being compliant when you're talking about your products. But lives are a really great way and the only way to notify all your followers at once. So it's a great way to capture the attention of your audience and allow them to join immediately and interact with you in real time. And here's a little pro tip to leave you with content types. You want to make sure that you're posting your reels, carousels, alongside IG stories to help you connect and engage with your audience. So if you're revealing a new product for the first time or whatever that looks like, you can supplement a lot of that content on stories to lead them to your in-feed posts and also keep building relationships and increase your customer loyalty by sharing some behind the scenes details or more information across stories. Okay, so next let's talk about how social gets shoppable. I am so excited to see how many shopping features that Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest continue to provide us with these key shoppable features, making sales even easier within the app. You can do this in a bunch of different ways. I've dropped all of my top platforms for shoppability at the top here with Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Pinterest. But as you can see, this example is specific to Instagram. So you may or may not know that you are able to actually take your products that are on your replicated personal website from forever and set them up using the business suite for Meta to be able to physically tag your products on individual videos and photos across the Meta platforms being Facebook and Instagram. So you can use these as in-feed product tags. You can post links directly within your stories. You can have story tags once you have your product set up. You can use product shops and make different collections if you're featuring specific products or maybe have a promotion going on. And of course, you always want to make sure that you have a link in bio leading your audience to whatever call to action you're driving them towards. For a lot of us, that could be our replicated website, our personal shop, whatever it is, make sure that link in bio is connected. If you are ready to set up your shop and start tagging product, you can visit the Meta for Business Help Center, which is gonna show you exactly how to, with guides, setting up your shop on Facebook and Instagram. Another huge trend of 2023 is that social not only got shoppable, but it also gets searchable. Goodbye Google, hello social search. Now, social decision makers have been evaluating products and competing brands on social to make better purchase decisions, right? So people are going directly to social media and not to Google to find out what products they wanna buy. And they're doing so through your posts. So Instagram and TikTok continue to enhance their search capabilities through keywords, caption, and video content. So that search engine optimization is not just for search engine anymore. You can use the same SEO tactics to use them in app for discovery. So as you can see in this example here, I've outlined zinc sunscreen or mineral sunscreen as two keywords that you can use as social gets searchable. So these are some examples of the top content that pulls up and some of those top searches that other people are looking for. These are a great way to see what content's performing best in your product category and what you could help be inspired by to produce for your own content. When we get searchable with keywords, we can include keywords in a number of different places. We can do so, of course, in our descriptive caption, like I've outlined here, within our hashtags, and on the back end within alternative text or our geotags or location tags. Hello, Bali. I think you guys are in Nusa Dua, I believe, the southernmost point of Bali. What an amazing, incredible place to tag and tap in to a new demographic along the way. So make sure when you're writing these keyword captions, you want to refer to your product pages on foreverliving.com in your market to see how you can talk about your products compliantly. You want to make sure when you're using these keywords that these keywords are approved by forever because we never want to get into a place where we're talking non-compliantly about a product. So here's an example. 
I travel everywhere with my Forever Protecting Day Lotion. It is my daily SPF 20 sun protection to keep my skin safe and moisturized. It even has fruit, herbal botanicals, and aloe too, all in one travel size tube for adventures on the go. That is 10 words that I can use in one caption to be picked up by a keyword search. So this is just another great way to be able to allow people to be attracted to your page and learn more about the products you're promoting. Social also gets searchable using those hashtags and keywords. So I've jotted down a bunch here that are a really great place to start when we're talking about aloe, hello, our forever hero ingredient, daily sunscreen in the protecting day lotion and immunity with the forever immune gummy. So feel free to take a quick picture of this, get a quick snapshot and utilize at least three of these hashtags every time you're posting on social. These are gonna allow for, again, people that are searching for these things, like maybe they're looking for a new gummy vitamin or a new clean sunscreen, whatever it is, they're more likely to land on your page when you use these hashtags telling the app that this is exactly what your content is referring to. So how can we continue to tap into even more features that will help us to generate sales? Across Instagram stories, we can link our products, ask a question to our audience, take a poll about maybe what they want to learn more of, and prompt them to direct message us. We can also use audience engagement through genuine conversation, getting to you know your followers in those direct messages, make sure we're always including a call to action within our captions or our stories to prompt engagement, and responding to all comments and DMs in a timely manner. Make sure if someone reaches out to you, you provide them with answers in return. That's really gonna what's gonna allow you to build your audience trust. Of course, you can go live like we talked about in some of our earlier content types as the one and only way to notify all your followers that you're online and ready to connect. It's a huge way to build that audience trust and you can even host a shopping event to do so when you're live. Next is that shoppable content. So not only can we tag our products in our posts, provide product education, and prompt people to learn more about the product by driving them to your website or maybe asking them to direct message you for more info. Whatever it is, we can also make sure to feature multiple products within one piece of content to increase cart size. Now, you'll see in a couple of those examples I provided earlier that not only am I using two products that may not go directly together, right? Immune gummies and protecting day lotion may not be the usual pairing of two products, but that's okay. Showing how you use two very different products, but together in say a morning routine, like the example showed, is a great way to increase potential cart size because people want to know about an all-in-one solution. If I'm thinking about a top five things I need when I'm traveling and you list two of them as products, I'm more likely to buy both those products to make sure I have all my bases covered when I travel as opposed to purchasing just one if you were to promote one in particular by itself. Okay, so quick tutorial as we talk about making it shoppable. Here's how to add your link in bio. Now, if you want to pull out your phone and do this in real time, please do. You want to make sure that your Instagram page, this is specific to Instagram, is set up as a business page. If you're not set up on a business page, you can simply go to your settings and toggle between your profile type and make it a business page. Once you're a business page, you can go to your profile page, hit that little button that's edit profile, then you'll go to edit your profile bio and you'll see in the little bottom right hand corner, it'll say add link under your bio. From there, you can type in one link and you will be good to go for anyone to click on your link if you, when you guide them to your link in bio. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about all of our platforms today and I wanna give our top conversions with Pinterest a little love. Pinterest is a visual search engine where users can discover, shop, and save ideas for future reference. And as we saw, as we were getting to know our platforms, 
it is the biggest conversion rate, the highest conversion rate when it comes to making a sale on a social media platform. So how can we use this to our advantage? So consider a problem that your customers face, and that's going to bring you to the search bar. One of the easiest ways to see what people are searching with the example of the forever protecting day lotion, when we are looking for something, maybe I'm looking for clean sunscreen, or I'm looking for a zinc sunscreen or a mineral sunscreen, non-toxic, whatever that looks like for you. You can type it in the search bar on Pinterest and watch all the content ideas start flowing because it's going to show you all of those top 20 to 30 things that your audience is searching for. So then from there, you're going to provide the solution, right? You have this incredible new product in the forever protecting day lotion, and you are ready to share it with the world. So you can actually create multiple pins using different photos, different text that's going to really speak to different audiences. Maybe I'm more likely to click on the middle one that has a really cute beach bag in it whereas someone else is really into the sunset image. So by creating multiple pins that answer the same problem, so by creating multiple pins that answer the same problem, you're more likely to reach more people through your different content styles. From there, all of these can link to your website, directly to the product page, or link back to one of your other social channels to learn more through maybe a video or a carousel post. So wherever you want to link it, it can link to any website link. It can link to your store, but it can also link to your other platforms. This is a really great way to cross promote all of your channels within each other. Along now, I know creating content can be so much fun and we have so much to share and so many incredible stories about how Forever products have changed our lives and the people's lives that we love and our customers forever. However, we need to keep it compliant as we do so. We never want to exaggerate the benefits of a product or make claims that are not compliant. Not only does this put you at risk, as an FBO, but it puts our entire company as forever at risk because we need to make sure that we're following all of the nutritional and warning labels. They're there for a reason, and we need to make sure that we don't misrepresent a product with any unapproved use. As we all know, we can reference our forever product resources for a compliance check, and I really, really encourage you to do so every time before you post. Maybe you're writing a caption and you think, ooh, is that compliant? If you had that thought, chances are it may not be or there may be a very specific way to say it. So let's go through a couple do's and don'ts when it comes to our compliance. Do, we always want to share openly about the products we love, but we don't want to over-exaggerate the benefits, so keep it compliant. We do want to build our audience trust through transparency but we don't want to be vague about the brand or misrepresent the forever brand by talking about products in a non-compliant way. Because we are trying to build a community based on audience trust, and we're going to do so through consistency, but that doesn't mean we want to forget quality over quantity. Make sure that that content you're putting out is a good representation of your business because we want to be treating social as a business building tool. So while there's always a time to what I like to call doom scroll late at night, scrolling in bed, just looking at content, there's a time and place for that. But when we're using social media as our business building tool, we are smart scrolling. And by smart scrolling, I mean looking for like-minded people, engaging with other people's comments, or creating content. And as always, we want to make sure we're utilizing our resources in the back office dashboard so we don't make any unapproved claims or benefits, even if it's true to you. I know we all have incredible stories to share about the Forever products, but we need to make sure it's compliant from a legal standpoint so that we are all safe and covering our bases when it comes to compliance. So how are we going to take these engagements that we're generating through our consistent compliant content 
and bring them to making that sale? Well, the first is making sure that we're engaging. With that engagement, we wanna support and engage with like-minded people and smart scroll. So while we're smart scrolling, we wanna make sure we're doing both inward and outward engagement. Inward engagement is that engagement that's coming into your channels. So making sure to respond to all your comments and DMs. Outward engagement is that engagement that you're providing others to make sure that they are seeing you and you're providing genuine connections with like-minded accounts. Next, we are gonna connect. So how can we build that genuine connection through one-on-one -on -one features? Here's a little pro tip. Using a story reply, replying to someone else's story or someone replying to yours is a great way to start a one-on-one -on -one conversation in your direct messages. Next is that consistency. We want to make sure that we're sharing consistent content, educating our followers while we're integrating our products that answer the pain points and problems to provide solutions that they're looking for while providing that value to your audience and using strong call to action. And of course, we're gonna hit that sale as we continue to engage with our audience, continue to connect with them and get to know them on a deeper level, continue to provide them consistent, valuable content. We are more likely to then have customers feeling a personal connection with us and more likely to take action, click our links, check out our products, make inquiries and make that purchase. So the last key piece of social that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is how we can all support each other through brand channel support. So how can we engage and support each other in ongoing campaign initiatives and corporate initiatives? With supporting corporate initiatives, you can get involved with the campaigns like the DX4 Quarterly Mindset Reset to truly help push virality and support the entire Forever community. You can share the love, share the love with your team and your fellow FBOs across local content and global content. Because if we're sharing the love with each other, that's only going to grow our visibility and our virality as a company and help us all grow along the way. So make sure you take advantage of your forever family community to boost engagement and grow together. Here's a little example that I always like to use in an infinity symbol of how brand channel support can help us all. So the more personal growth we have on social and the more that we activate within those campaigns, we'll see more company and team growth. The more company and team growth we see alongside our personal growth, the more visibility we're going to get across social platforms. The more visibility we give all of us across these social platforms, the more chances we have at virality and having forever content go viral, which of course leads directly back to personal growth, company growth, and the circle continues. I love looking at it in this way to truly see how supporting not only the forever international pages or the local and global channels across your markets, the more that we can see personal growth and overall forever family growth too. So as a quick recap, as we tap into our 2023 social content and social to sales goals, remember that community and connection, that consistency and providing content value, and that compliance and transparency. These are the six most important things that you need as you dive into your content and take a little Bali social challenge. I can never leave y'all without a social challenge and what better place to do so than in Bali. First of all, how about you batch some content in beautiful Bali? You are in the most perfect place as a backdrop to your incredible content and you can use that beach time to brainstorm content, maybe brainstorm with each other as you're out and about and get as much content as you can while you're there to share with your audience when you're back home and fill in some of those content gaps. So you don't need to constantly be creating new content all the time. Use those beautiful location you're in to your advantage. And as always, you can share your posts with us at Bond and Brand, tag us or use hashtag BB forever 
and we will give you a little engagement boost from our team. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you have an incredible time on the rest of your trip to Bali and in your 2023 global rally. I'm so glad that I could have been a part of it. And I can't wait to see what you do on social to bring your social to sales. Bye everyone.